it's shadow boxing time plus dumbbells. Let's go. All right, here we go. Six minute rounds of shadow boxing, followed up with 45 seconds of dumbbell strength. You'll get 15 seconds to rest in between. Let's start with our warm up. The stance. Start with squaring your feet, take your right foot back, leading with the left. This is if you're orthodox right handed. Now, if you are southpaw left handed, you'll do the opposite, lead with the right left foot behind. Okay, let's start warming up here with the jab. This is your first punch, the jab. I'm in my orthodox stance, so I'm leading with my left. I'm turning my hands up and over. My left arm is punching. Elbows come back to the midline. I want to make sure that I extend and retract real fast. All right, coming up with the cross. Turn and pivot, and it's that backhand. I want a nice, quick, snappy, punchy, powerful cross. You take that hand back up to the face. Now, give me that lead hook. You want to turn and pivot, sliding that elbow across. Like, imagine you have a table and you're sliding it across. Pivot the front foot so you get power. Now, the rear uppercut from the back. You want to dip underneath and get that uppercut. Think nose, chin, forehead. Yep, that's it. Again, you're pivoting too. You want to stay nice and light on the balls of the feet. Good, nice. Same thing. Now we got that lead upper cut. Same thing. Dip under. Take it up. Straight up like you've got two beams right down the middle. Now we've got that rear hook from the back. Hook from the back. Big movement. Whole body, torso turns. Pivoting that foot. Now let's go into straight punches. One, two, one, two, one, two. And let's add some movement by walking the line. I call it walking the line. You're going up and back. Yep, nice and easy here. Learn to add punches and movement and footwork at the same time. Walk side to side, left to right. Walk that line, left to right. There we go, easy, easy. Okay, give me hooks now up top. That's it. Turn and pivot, sliding those elbows across. Now we're gonna level change and go straight down to the body. So I want you to give me some hooks to the body. Now uppercuts up top, left and right, right and left. Easy, easy, again, this is just to warm up and now dig into the body. So think dagger right straight through, knuckles to the body. Now shoe shine flurry. Pick it up, pick up that speed, add the feet. Nice, shake it loose. Let's get some defense in. We're gonna slip, we're gonna bob and weave, we're gonna roll, dip, duck. Now we're slipping left to right, hands up. That's it, now we're gonna dip or bob and weave. That's it, again, left to right, just dodging. Let's add some movement to it. Good, stepping, and now we're gonna go forward and back. Gonna dip forward and back, that's it. Gaining some space and then just a straight duck or dip straight down. Yep, use those legs. Good, let's get started. We got round one, here we go. Jab and move, baby, jab and move. Pop, I want you to think straight up. Pop. Nice and light in the feet. Quick snappy jab. Lengthen, full arms length. Now give me that double jab. Jab, jab, pop, pop. Now, if you want to get fancy, absolutely add some footwork, add some head movement, right? Bang, 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 you move. Good, that's it. Jab, jab. We're gonna change where this is heading now. Now, you're going to hit jab to the head, then jab to the body. So it's the same double jab, but now I want your target to be different. Up top, maybe it's up top to the forehead, to the chest. Right, maybe it's nose and chest. Maybe it's a little bit deeper into, into the gut. Now add that rear uppercut right to the body. So double jab, pop, pop. Give me some power, right? Uppercut to the body, level change. Move in between, okay? We don't keep flat-footed, we gotta move, right? And light, stay light. Hands immediately come back to the face. Comes back to that guard position. And we're gonna double up that uppercut now, so. Double jab, double rear uppercut. Bang, bang, boom, boom. You need power on those last two punches. Pop, pop, boom, boom. That's your cadence. Nice work. We are halfway through round one, baby. Come on. Ha, ha, bang. We are gonna add more punches to this. I hope you're ready. Let's go, double jab, rear uppercut. Keep it moving. 
breathe. And then we're gonna add that hook up top. Give me that hook upstairs. Nice, powerful punch right up top. Bang, bang, boom, boom, body head. There we go. Turn, pivot that lower, lower foot, right? And that hook, you gotta pivot to add that extra power, power generated from the ground up top. Pop, boom. Good. Nice work. Got a minute left in round one. Jab, jab, rear, double rear uppercut. Give me that lead hook. Shoulders down. Relaxed arms. Confident. Right? Assessing your space. Moving around. Bang, bang, boom, boom, ha. Perfect. You've got less than 40 seconds. Keep that combo. We've got five more seconds. We are going to drill. All right. Let's tire ourselves out. Here we go. Give me that rear uppercut to the body. Now, soft knees, flat on the balls of the foot, dip under and like a dagger, punching straight through real hard. Give me that power to the body. Bang, 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 bang. Come on, huh, huh. So now you are just in that pocket and you are digging, digging, digging. We are drilling that rear uppercut. You have five seconds. We're about to get those heavy dumbbells. Get ready in three, two, and one, go grab your weights. We're going into a squat with a double ground snatch. Here we go. So both arms are gonna squat down and press up towards that ceiling. Snatch it up. Slide those dumbbells all the way up top. We are going 45 seconds. Work with a weight that is challenging. Um, I've got 17 and a half pounds in my hand, right? Because I just wanna make sure I'm able to execute this in 45 seconds, not being sloppy. I want you to use full momentum, dig through those heels, ground your feet, press up top, use your breath, hang in there. We've got about five seconds left. Generate power with your body. You want those punches strong? You better get strong with that body. In three, two, one, let it go. Drop it down, we have minimal rest. So full deep breath in, five rounds to go. We are in round two coming up. We've got that shadow boxing left. Clear your space. I hope you're ready. Let's do it. All right, jab, cross, one, two, bang, bang. Right up top, pop, pop. Nice work, pop, pop. That's it, move in between, move in between. Never stay idle. Yes, yes, bang, bang. I hope you feel powerful today, right? I hope you feel like a badass. Now, I'm doing this at a regular gym, at a regular lifting gym. Sure, I got some stairs, but who the hell cares? I am working. I am bettering myself. One, two, duck, lead up or cut. Now I want you to dig down. So bang, bang. As soon as you're down, shoot it straight up. Right? Use those legs. Pop, pop, bang. Good. That's it. Bang, bang, pop. As soon as you drop down, I want you to pop it right back up with power. I like my ducks because they are super efficient. I'm right in the spot that I need to be, right? So if I know I'm coming down up, up towards that chin, I'm just gonna duck down and shoot it straight up. Now, I'm gonna add another duck with another rear uppercut. So I'm in position, bang, bang. I'm getting punched and thrown at me. I duck, I counter, I duck, I counter. Bang, bang, pop, pop. Good, light on the feet, light on the balls of the feet. Let's not stay flat-footed. It's hard to get into the position and throw those punches if we're completely flat on the feet. We wanna stay nice and light. Nice work. We are more than halfway through our rounds, and now we're gonna add a lead hook. Right after that rear uppercut lead hook. One, two, duck, bang, bang, into that hook. Right? Everything is upstairs at this point. All the punches are being done up top. Pop, pop, bang, bang. Slide those elbows across for that lead hook, turn and pivot. Power, generate that power. Gotta use those legs. Pop, bang, move in between. We don't stay still, we don't stay flat footed. That's it, get sassy. You're gonna give me a double lead hook now. Bang, bang, drop it up, up. Look, two hooks, two hooks with that lead hand. That's it, we're finishing with this combo. We've got five seconds left, three, two, and one. Give me that lead hook. Non-stop now, we drill. So we generated in round one power from the back. Give me that power in the front hand. 
bang, bang, slide it, turn and pivot. Nice 90 degree behind those elbows, right? Pivot, turn, hang in there. 10 more seconds, we've got our second strength exercise coming up. No breaks except for the 15 seconds in between all the rounds. Let's go, let's get it, get it, get it, get it. You got three, you got two, and you got one. All right, grab those weights. We've got four low lunge rows, so we're gonna alternate. One foot comes in front, hip hinge position, all the way on that front leg. Give me four rows, switch, four rows. Squeeze at the scapula. Now it's really important to work that backside. Where do you think that the power is generated from? Right, it's not just from your chest, your back. So work those back muscles. Work those legs in the low lunge. Keep it isometric, right? That standing leg in the front should start to feel a little something, something. That's it. Get strong, my friends. Get strong. And if you don't got weights, that's okay. This is your opportunity to give me something else. Just keep moving. You can give me squats, push-ups. I don't care. Three, two, one. Rest. If you don't got weights, do something. Whether it's sit-ups, push-ups planks, something, okay? All right, round three, let's do this thing. Here we go. I want a rear shovel hook, a real body shot, okay? My old coach Lenny loved making me do that rear shovel hook. Oh, coach Lenny, I missed him so dearly. Yep, he loved this. He loved that rear body shot. Bang! Power, baby, power. And what we're gonna do soon, I'll let the cat out of the bag, you're going to double up that backhand. So here we go. Double up the backhand shovel hook, and then give me a rear uppercut up top. Again, this is a Coach Lenny move, my Coach Lenny. I might talk about him every now and again. Bang, boom. He was like my Mickey. He was like, you know, if I was, if I was Rocky, he was my Mickey. All right, rear shovel hook. He took a chance on this chick right here. Not that I ever really fought, but you know, he saw me as an older chick wanting to learn how to how to do boxing, and he taught me the right way. So give me that rear shovel hook, rear uppercut. Now I want you to take a step back, cross, okay? So that foot steps back, it comes back to the position, and then gives me a right hand right up top, okay? Bang, boom, step back, you clear some space, you pull back, you step back, you gain your distance, come right back in with that power back hand. Rear shovel hook to the body. Rear uppercut up top. Generate power and gain some distance. You've got a straight punch coming at you. You step back, you give me that cross. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be relentless, okay? After I throw that backhand to the face, I'm gonna go into a triple jab and I'm gonna fade it out around my opponent. Right? So they're not gonna know what to do, right? They're just not gonna know what to do with themselves. Rear shovel hook, rear uppercut, step back cross, a faded triple jab. Pop, pop, bang, boom, bang, bang, bang. There we go. There we go. Just want you to remember this is all about fitness. So I might throw in some technique every now and again, but for me, what's most important is if you're learning for the first time or if you're just in this for the training, that's what I'm here for. Okay? I want you to sweat. I want you to feel good. I want you to feel powerful and freaking strong. That's what this is about. That's what my channel is about. We take you from mediocre to the freaking best, okay? All right, here we go. Shoe shine, baby, shoe shine, nice and quick. I hope you are sweating, you're feeling that sweat dripping down that forehead. Let's go, roll those arms in. Now, step back, give me that power, backhand, shoe shine, shoe shine, shoe shine. And every now and again, you step back, you come back in with that right hand. You got it, baby, come on 10 more seconds on your time. So you shoe shine a little, when you feel that power generated, Step back, give me that right hand. Pop, 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 pop. Or left if you're a southpaw. I'm sorry, I'm uh, thinking that everybody's orthodox here. Nice work. That round is done. We're gonna pick up those weights again. All right. Single, single, double rotational curls. Let's work those biceps. That's it. Upper body here. You wanna go one, then the other. Super important, we try to keep those elbows as close to the midline as possible. Torso is tall, you're grounded with your feet. Got a nice strong stance, there we go. 
we've got about 10 more seconds here for strength take your time this is not about rushing the weights this is about developing strength and power okay we've got three two and one drop it baby let's go into the next round feel how awesome you are at this point feel it all right let's do this thing here we go round four double jab cross pop 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 bang bang boom turn pivot that back foot long punches i don't want to see alligator arms guys you'll never reach your opponent with alligator arms right you want nice long punches even if you don't make contact it's about you measuring your distance right and then with that cross you want to slight hinge at the upper body turn and pivot the tour uh, the back foot okay to really uh, lead in with that cross so double jab cross there we go know your distance move in between breathe as always Ooh, now we're gonna add that roll i want you to add that roll towards that um that lead hand you can even give me a slip and a roll okay or a duck and a roll something to get you set up towards the other side good work now here's what we're gonna do we're gonna add a double roll okay or a bob and weave so you're gonna go one one two jab jab cross under under twice imagine maybe a hook cross coming at you you get under it twice or two hooks coming at you you get under it twice now double jab cross double roll rear uppercut okay so you're landing after that double roll your counter is going to be from the back side okay double jab cross double rear uh, double roll into a rear uppercut now some of us call the rear uppercut a six I call it a four if you're into the numbers I learned it as a four so if I'm gonna call out this combo we're gonna go one one two roll roll four and then I want you to give me another lead uppercut. It'll be roll four, five. Or if you've learned it as a, I don't mean to confuse you, just give me a rear, a rear uppercut into a lead uppercut. Now we're gonna add, hey, guess what? An overhand shot right from the back. Like I said, I learned it as a four, five. If you call it a six, five. Don't matter, just punch, okay? Now. We're gonna go with that overhand, and then you're gonna add a lead body shot. You've got less than three seconds. Two, one, all right. Lead body, cross. Body, okay, baby, this is power, okay? This is not about speed, this is ram it, ram it. Like, <laughs> like you're about to kill somebody, okay? Bang, boom. Ferocious. Nice job. Drop it down and give me one heavy dumbbell, one challenging weight. From the ground, this is like exercise one, but instead we're gonna go for ground snatches. So it's just like we did with exercise one, but we're gonna alternate four on each side. You pick it up from the ground. Now, if you've got back issues or something, or you know, some injury, then give me a hang snatch so you don't let it drop from the ground. You can just do it from a hip hinge position. Perfect. And like I said, if you don't have weights, look, we can make, you can make this workout work for you. You could always pick an exercise. Maybe this is just air squats. Maybe this is lunges. You want to focus on legs. Like I want you to have plenty of freedom here to make this workout your own. Three, two, one. Good. So let that go. What round are we up to? It looks like we got two rounds left. What? All right, going into round five. Get excited. Here we go. Ooh, a double uppercut. We are going from a lead uppercut to the body to a lead uppercut up top, double five. I want you to go from the body, you're in that perfect position to double it up to upstairs. Bang, boom. We're just building on combinations today for our workout. Nice long complex combo combos. I, I, I particularly like working out this way. 
you know, just for fitness sake, right? It, and it's fun. Okay, now we're gonna add a rear hook. It's just fun, right? But if, if we're talking like a real fight, I mean, very rarely do we start around with a lead uppercut, right? We usually start with a jab and we move and jab and move. But this, for fitness sake, we're working on those complex combos. Lead uppercut to the body, lead uppercut to the chin or nose, followed by a rear hook. Now we're gonna fade out a double jab again. I like fading out my jabs, right? I just kinda angle my body out like a little fly to the face. They don't know what to do now. That's it. Pop, pop, boom, boom. Lead upper cut, double it up, followed by a rear hook into a faded double jab. Good. We're gonna add again. Now, we're gonna add a third punch with our front hands. After the double jab, I want you to give me a lead hook. You can give me something called a check hook too, where you add a little extra step towards the um, the lead side. So if you're orthodox stance, you know, you fade it out, you give me an extra step towards the left. If you're orth uh, southpaw rather, then you would go rear hand, okay? Um, with the right hand, good. I know I'm jumbling on my words today, but this is a long combo, so I apologize. Yup, here we go. As long as you're moving, I don't care. Are you moving, are you sweating? That's all I care about. We add a cross. Complex here. Lead uppercut, body, lead uppercut, head. Rear hook, faded double jab, lead hook, and cross. Nice. Now let's make up for that long combo. We're gonna double lead, double rear uppercut. Pop, 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 pop. So give me two on each side. That's it. So if you didn't get the combo, who the hell cares? This is your chance to sweat. Boom, bang, boom, bang, no breaks. And we're going into that final, I shouldn't say final. We're going into a final round, but we got strength first. All right, nice, go into strength. Push up, row, kick back. Plank position with those weights, hands on top of the weights. Plank position, give me that push up. Row, kick back for tricep. So we've got the chest working, the shoulders working, abdominals are definitely controlled. Back is working. You're squeezing the scapula and then you're extending at the triceps. Strong. This is about strength. This is all about strength. This workout is no fluff, as I always say. Like my old coach Lenny used to say, boxing is the hurting game. He didn't care who you are. He don't care if you're a female, male, 16, 80. He don't care. He always said boxing is a hurting game and it's about being ferocious and strong and fierce and feeling empowered and confident and, and just giving it everything you got. Okay, here we go. Round six. Jab, rear uppercut jab, one, four, one, or one, six, one, no matter what you call it, doesn't really matter. It's gonna be the jab, uppercut, jab. Pop, pop, pop. You have to kind of stay nice and low with the feet for this one, like you gotta be really grounded, right? So you're able to dip under the, for that uppercut. So, in, so typically, you know, we do like a jab, cross jab. This one is a jab, rear, uppercut, jab. Now check this out. I want you to slide towards the lead side and give me a rear body shot. Okay, bang, 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 slide and give me extra power. Step it. If you can't step it, stay in place and give me a rear body. Nice. I know everyone always says, why aren't you fighting? Why don't you fight? Cause I'm old. <laughs> I started I started boxing when I was maybe 35 <laughs> and um, I'm turning 38 my friends so <laughs> jab rear uppercut jab slide rear body slide lead body so now I know they say age is nothing but a number that's why I'll just stick to fitness okay I'll stick to fitness this makes me feel good and I love teaching you the way I was taught, I love teaching you. Jab, rear uppercut, jab, slide your 
rear body shot and then slide and give me that lead body shot. So you have to take those spaces, right? You have to gain that space in order to really create some power. Now, this is the fun part. We're going to add a lead hook to the head. So as you slide that lead body shot, you're going to give me an extra hook to the head. So it's going to be quick. This is advanced. Jab, rear uppercut, jab, slide, rear body, slide, lead body with a lead hook up top. So you're going to double it up. If you don't care, if you don't get it, I mean, don't worry about it. It's okay. Right? You can give me the first half of the combo and we'll be good as long as you're moving. That's all I care about. Nice. Bodies only now. Okay, so you're gonna slide rear body, slide lead body, lead hook. Bang, bang, boom. Step punch, step punch, punch. Step punch, step punch, punch. Come on, footwork. Pop, pop. Now, non stop body, non stop body. Okay, so if you didn't get the stepping, who the hell cares at this point? Plant and dig, plant and dig. Give me hooks up top, hooks up top to the head now. Plant and dig, five seconds. Three, two, shoe shine. Now we are going over time. Okay, we are going over time. Over under punches. So jab cross up up, jab cross up up. Come on, over time, over time, over time. We are nearing the end of our workout. Over under punches at footwork. Gets a little tricky now. Can you step it up and back with it? Can you? Shoe shine, stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low. Over time, baby. Straight punches, straight punches. We're gonna change it up like every few seconds. Shoe shine again. Shoe shine again, straight punches again. Take it down. Final strength exercise, final 30 seconds. We're gonna go into a bridge with a pullover, set up press, dig into those heels, push those up, arms up, up and back, hips up towards the ceiling, sit up tall, press up. Glutes, core, shoulders, back. All for strength. 10 seconds, you are done. Let's freaking go this is it three two and just like that drop those weights you are done you killed it today i'll see you next time oh before you go i got this t-shirt i rock the sports bra shop it on the site give me a thumbs up comment and of course subscribe to my channel for more kick-ass workouts like this i'll see you soon